the practices and taxonomy of the pyramid why this is all happening what's is what's the game is being played on us what's happening who knows the farmer who the layman how he knows what's happening what game has been played for centuries fitna dajjal is been warned by many prophets and messengers and it's fitna is global this is all global because islam is a global threat for them standing a standing challenge for them so now what system we are having how do we know paper currency gold system up and down devaluation valuation who knows the real player the puppet masters who is just you know changing the fiddling around everything manipulating around everything we don't know we can't reach to the culminating point or the beginning point the genesis of the cause we don't know we only speculate but the real you know pyramid they know who they are You see, there's a saying: there's always a greater person behind the king's throne himself. So, who is that greater person in the pyramid? They show resource. The person who is the founder of the resources, like today's, you can say oil and gold. You know, don't know who those people are. Hidden people. This is the first person in the pyramid. People think no, Mumkin, the kings, the president, prime ministers, or the big desig- designation leaders. They are on the first position. They are not on the first position according to this pyramid. according to this pyramid of hegemony hegemony means i told you predominance of powers like people in the old days the british subjugation was having this now it is changed transfer of powers now there is a this is a, a hidden power you don't know and that is on the top of the pyramid then the second comes the stage of all the rulers queens kings Uh, prime ministers leaders etc all them are in the second category as i told you they are always greater they have they are they have their own uh, prerogatives and sovereignty but there is a way which they also cannot manipulate they can't steer it there is a thing there is a system we are stuck in they are, they are helpless to then after that you have the system where the religious people will come like each religion not talking about islam christianity of the the priest or a pastor or father or a pope then a religious leader like any kind of religious leader in islam imam you can call it then in uh, synagogues rabbi then in hindu temple pandits then in uh, buddhist temple monks these people are in the third line of pyramid why because they need it they are needed there in the exact position so they can you know change the people by sympathy empathy they have some kind of feelings of spirituality but remember those people will only talk about secularism in the religion they are they are they are entitled to work as a religious figure but inwardly they will work as a secularist people or or a religious people which deliver any religion just remove god from it it's your personal matter of rites and rituals that's all after that comes the all this uh, stuff of army or military or power of a police system look police system led by umar farooq razi allah anhu it was for social justice now in our country in pakistan you know we are scared to go police stations seriously because you know we have put ourselves in a bigger trouble so we better just refrain ourselves restrain from it mums silence is golden mums the mouse this system was not it was for social security not for social threat now we are having it anyways this is a thing which will control that the main person on the top of the pyramid should be pyramid should be you know having a good kind of protection then after that comes the social class social class by who those rich people aristocrats bureaucrats rich people billion dollars not us we are not there social class people elite people and the last then we come poor people we think we are rich we 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 wear these branded suits we wear these branded perfumes and then we go to this and we we, we go make dollars every weekend we are in good money we have some system you know we have a, then we go to another place and we go to visit you know different countries twice a month if we are rich we are poor people in front of them the people of all those taxonomy we are just like mental slaves of social animals and after that there are the category of so much poverty which is included in the last stage which is bearing the burden of all the pyramids last verdict to say if you do not follow what allah says and his rasul says allah says in the quran whatever rasul gives you take it 
and what he stops you forbid it prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that when you leave these two words ta'maruna bil ma'ruf wa tanhauna 'anil munkar prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that then allah will cause a punishment on you and he will stop listen he will he will be you know he will stop listening your prayers as a whole this is the punishment the hadith prophet says if you stop these two things allah will also put you in a punishment he will stop listening your prayers as a whole so if you want to get in a respected ways of life if you want to be to be having a authority prerogative attitude in this dunya being a muslim pay heed to the eye of quran wa kabbiru takbira make him sovereign and whatever he says that is your directive order judiciable order that is the supreme authority power of attorney this is the order we have to apply either we like it or not but if we do not apply then we going to simmer in our own soup wa akhiru da'wana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alamin